episode three long road uh, long road ahead um i might sound a little bit different from the previous videos um i had a bit of static i was noticing in the background um had the gain turned up quite a bit um so i've, I've lowered it previously on the walking dead Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Definitely dead. We know this guy's not gonna make it. No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Very creepy. <clears throat> the game series adopts the choices you make for sorry is tailored by how you play or something like that again telltale series it doesn't really change that much depending on the, the choices you make for characters you either save and whatnot end up dying anyway so it's it's, it's not the biggest deal I had thought they making a The Wolf Among Us 2 finally the first one was amazing Let's go Kenwa. Three sixty quick scope with this sniper. The head. Looks, Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't, I don't like, it. like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. This is right back to where we were previously in the drugstore in episode one tim's tools jc sporting goods it's either the same area or just a very similar looking street lee where do you come down on staying or going you mean packing up the motel and getting in the rv yeah we've been talking about it but you made up your mind yet? Uh, we should go. We should go. Motels run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Yeah, towards the end of the last episode, Kenny got shot. So he's a bit wounded. Okay, but just like last time over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. They're fine. It's only season one. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way out. We better get a move on. Pull me up. Huh. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. A mama. So much for the military. Unless there was walkers on board of the helicopter. I don't Looks like it still works. Not sure how they uh, crashed. Lily's not doing so good, huh? We well, did we kill her dad. her dad. We did kill her dad.
Oh, it's not Rush Lee. There's no safe way through that mess. Yeah. Could have climbed on the car and went up the uh, the front side. Building. Your girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week. Oh, uh -huh. no. She'll get there. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I uh, wasn't sure it phased him. Yeah. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for her, Sean dying and all. Sean I'm just worried man. he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Lee, you fell again? That's like the fifth time. Oh, nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Oh. That's hopeful, bringing up Ben. Scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. And actually, no oh, she. And she's bitten. Fuck. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this mess. You don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Think about it. We're always worried you about sneaky devil, see. Kenny. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. I mean, she's a grown woman. Why is she just running around screaming when she knows that it attracts him? It's her own fault. If it was a child, then it's a whole different story, but, you know. I like how Kenny just easily lifted his up that time. He's like, yep, yeah, yeah. easy peasy. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. It's rock and roll. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Yes, sir. Uh, I might miss a couple of things here and there. She's gone. There's not much time now. I get the chocolate bars and stuff. Look at this. Rapid. Is that everything? I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. You're still clear. Let's hustle. Oh, Kenny, help! Come on, Kenny. Kenny. Nice 
Nice you're shooting. Let's go, brother. Come on, Lee. You got a gun, just shoot it. This is why handguns are superior in a buckle of events. Just easier, more maneuverable and all this stuff. Let's go, pal. Doesn't care about the random girl, but he came back for his uh Gotta give Kenny some respect. A ton of medication and food, to be fair. You're back. Finn found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! This piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. You have to go eventually. We have to go eventually, Lily. <clears throat> we don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Yes. Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming I mean, out of an alley. She had nothing dead to hang brag about. Over her. <clears throat> she gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Oh God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with him. It's the first smart thing he's done. I should in a really while. say it was a mistake. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't it's saving. Kali's it's not impressed. a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Stealing, you say? She'll get over it. 
She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Hi, Kali. Things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. <clears throat> These facial expressions are uh, a masterpiece. <laughs> 